Whether it's David Beckham, Leighton Baines or Kevin De Bruyne, a player who has the ability to create high value chances from crossing positions is extremely valuable, even still in a modern game where the use of direct crosses into an aerially dominant target man has certainly decreased compared to 20 or 30 years ago. But there isn't just one type of cross, in fact there are many different variations which will be covered in this video, both from an execution and a tactical point of view. So what are the different types of crosses? Well I think most can be categorised in one of three ways, a curling cross, a floated cross or a low cross. Now a curling cross can either be an in-swinger or an out-swinger, depending on whether the cross is on the same side as the crossing player's stronger foot or not. For example, here we see from Manchester City versus Tottenham from back in 2019, that as Bernardo Silva is about to lay the ball back to Kevin De Bruyne on the right side, that the Belgium is in a fairly deep, but also a narrow crossing position. And so he's going to be using a curling technique with the inside of his boot, looking to curl the ball into the space between the Tottenham goalkeeper and the back line, and find the runs of either Gabriel Jesus or Raheem Sterling at the back post. Because the pass to him from Bernardo Silva is weighted perfectly, De Bruyne can stride onto the ball and connect first time, with him only really having to focus on the curl with his instep as the pace is already on the ball. The cross is weighted perfectly, finding Sterling at the back post, who's then able to head the ball back across goal into the far bottom corner beating Lloris. In this example, however, from 2011-2012, we see Ronaldo has a ball on the left side, and like De Bruyne, he's going to use the instep of his right foot to curl the cross towards the back post but rather than an outswinger as De Bruyne's was, because Ronaldo is on the opposite side to his stronger right foot, his cross will be an inswinger, curling towards goal rather than away from it. However, because of the angle as well as the space at the back post, the keeper isn't close enough to be able to intercept the cross and so Benzema is able to meet it at the back post and head it into an empty net. Both De Bruyne and Ronaldo used a curling technique with their instep, relying more on the curl on the ball rather than sheer power, hence why they almost clipped the ball into the box, not pulling their leg backwards so far, just enough to apply the necessary pace alongside the curl. However, sometimes a cross requires less or more pace on it, floated or driven. From a tactical point of view, a floated cross is more beneficial if the opposition goalkeeper is not very dominant from aerial situations. Think of David Raya at Arsenal, or you have a player in the box who is aerially and physically dominant against the opposition defenders. And this was exactly the case during Manchester United's Champions League game against Roma back in 2008. Here we see as Paul Scholes has the ball in a wide position inside of the box, that the space highlighted in green is where he's going to be aiming for, knowing that Ronaldo, who's currently out of picture, has the pace, the leap and the aerial prowess to win the duel inside of the box. But the cross can't have too much pace on it, as it needs to essentially hang in the air to give Ronaldo enough time to race into the box towards a penalty spot, and so rather than going for a curling technique with his instep like De Bruyne or Ronaldo did in the previous examples, Scholes instead uses his laces to clip the ball, connecting low down underneath in order to get the height but not following through, instead halting his fur after the connection in order to put backspin on the ball, slowing the trajectory through the air and giving Ronaldo enough time to meet the ball which he does emphatically, climbing high and powering the header past the keeper. However, rather than delivering a cross into the air, sometimes a low cross can be a better option. Here we see as Arsenal break down the right side that because the attack is moving at pace, as Meza Ozil is about to play this pass into the overlapping Hector Bellerin, he's likely going to have to deliver the cross first time. Although when he receives the ball, you can see that he doesn't have any real options to pick out by putting a cross between the Leicester defensive line and the goalkeeper, and that instead the space is in front of the defensive line which Ozil is attacking. And so rather than flashing the ball across the face of goal, Bellerin instead cuts the ball back to Ozil with a cross that's pretty much a pass really, where from the pace he's already on the ball, and Ozil just opens up his foot and guides the ball into the far corner, putting it in off the post. But in this example from Manchester City's Champions League game against Tottenham, Bernardo Silva has the ball on the right and Kevin De Bruyne is providing an overlapping run and we can see the eventual goal scorer Raheem Sterling all the way at the back post. Silva finds De Bruyne with the reverse pass down the side of the defender and now as De Bruyne is ready to deliver first time, unlike in the previous example, De Bruyne doesn't have the space in front of the Tottenham defensive line nor a player arriving late. Instead he has two players attacking the space in behind the Tottenham back line and Sterling coming round the back. 
De Bruyne like Bellerin crosses like a pass, but this time he flashes it across goal with a significant amount of pace, not allowing the Tottenham defenders or goalkeeper to intercept it, and finding Sterling at the back post, who hits it back across goal into the far corner. And so mastering the cross is not just one technique, there are many variations of the cross, from a deep cross with pace, a floated cross from the byline, as well as a low cross across a six yard box, and cutbacks to the edge of the box or penalty spot as well. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed that video remember to subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos as well.